Yes, boss. You already know who it is, dog. 444 The World back in there again, once again, dog. Happy to be here. Happy to see you guys. You feel me? Just jumped up out that shower, man. Oh, my gosh. You already know what I'm about to talk about that sun, dog. Like, I don't know what it is if it's like, um, if it has something to do with like global warming, but it's like the sun just gets hotter and hotter every year, dog. And it's like, it made me think about something. That sun was so hot, I'm really thinking about changing careers like ASAP. Like, I already talked about school and I'm in school, but it's like I need a temporary position until something else happens. Something. So, I don't know. But you already know what it is, man. You see the topic and what it is that we're talking about, right? There will be no rest for the wicked, dog. Oh, my gosh. Listen, I love the hell out of this topic, yo. You ever thought about it like this? The people who do so much evil stuff, like, how do you sleep at night, right? And then you picture it like, oh, they probably sleep wonderful. Here's the deal. They don't really sleep that well. Some people sleep comfortably because they feel like they have things figured out, but not necessarily, right? Because it's just like I said to you before. Whatever you practice in life, whatever you pick up, whatever you do, you get what I'm saying? Your track record goes that way. So it's like, if you do evil and you do it continuously, you'll get good at it. You feel me? You do bad. You'll pick up and do it continuously and you'll get good at it. I mean, good or evil, whichever whichever way it is that you want to, uh, you pick. You get what I'm saying? But people who do evil things, they do not sleep properly. And I'm going to tell you why. Oftentimes, people who do certain things in an ill-advised way or in an ill-advised manner, they feel like they're smarter than the next person. That's exactly what it is. Sometimes... I'm gonna be real. Sometimes people have been like skating their whole life doing a lot of things and it's like they feel like they can never get caught. I'm never gonna I'm never gonna go down for what it is that I do, whatever it may be, whether it's stealing, um, hurting people, threatening people, robbing people. Here's the deal: when you do evil things, you pretty much pick up a thing where it's like you don't really care who who you really hurt as long as you can feed your habits and do what it is you need to do to satisfy your personal needs now people who have a mindset like that are very much in a state of poverty in the in the mind i'm gonna be real because to do evil things you feel like the glass is halfway empty so you do the things that you do if you looked at the glasses halfway full people wouldn't do half of the things that they do because when you look at the glasses half empty you're looking at it like yo there's nothing coming in i'm in the state of survival i gotta do what i gotta do survival poverty lack mindset i'm gonna hurt steal do whatever it is that i can get to hurt whoever take whatever it is that i need whether it be money uh ideas um certain things that will advance you in your life that's valuable or meaningful to somebody they're gonna do it you get what i'm saying you have to understand this nobody is gonna do anything without some form of an intention behind it learn that you feel me the faster you learn that the faster you'll go farther in life everybody in this life has something that drives them whether it's negativity or positivity no way around it you get what i'm saying people who do things in an ill-advised way as i said they pick up in that practice and they got good at it and they see yo it's just like the saying crime pays right there's the there's a say there's another side to that right where people believe that yo because crime pays like i see you get way farther in life with it that way but it's like good doesn't really get anything so why should i even play on that side evil wins no doesn't work that way and when you do things continuously like that you're gonna run your karma tab high and you're gonna find out why there will be no rest for the wicked right and i got a couple bible verses to help me out right here you get what i'm saying 
first one I have for you. Isaiah 48 verse 22. There is no peace for the wicked, says the Lord. Right? Just went over that. So people who do things in an ill-advised way, you hurt people, you rob people, you do certain things, you'll do it so much to the point where you ran your tab high and it's like, yo, I got what it is that I wanted, but it's like I'm still not satisfied. Greedy, lack, poverty mindset. But the more you do it, you're not realizing, yo, I've been getting away with this stuff. Eh, I'm just that good at it. Until you really hit the wall and you find out, yo, oh, snap, I robbed this person? I robbed this person? Yo, when I tell you I know some stuff about some people, and this is the funny part about when you're an empath, right? People get so comfortable with telling you all of their dirt that they feel like you're weak. You would never turn around and use it on them to save your life or whatever the case may be because they feel like, oh, you're an empath. You're gonna, you get what I'm saying? People will give you their hand, show you their hand. It's up to you if you're gonna look at it and remember what they had in, had in their hand so you can play it, play it correctly and you could beat them. I know so much about people who went against me, it's like they know they can't even come against me anymore because it's like, yo, I, I lost. He knows everybody I robbed. He knows everybody I hurt. I gave him it in details. He remembers everything. You forfeited your hand with me. Damn right. That's how you play chess on a whole nother kind of a level. These are the things that wicked people don't see. People who do wicked stuff, do their dirt, need somebody to go back and pillow talk talk about that too. It's so spicy, I can't hold it. Oh, it's so caliente in my mouth. Yo, guess who I just finessed? Yo, guess who I just robbed? Yo, guess who I just, uh, who old lady I just hit? Yo, guess who I just uh beat up a while ago? Yo, guess who I just did this? You talk, people talk, and it's so fun to them. This is the part about evil what a lot of people don't understand. Everything is a balance in life, like I said. If you feel like you came up, you finessed, you hit a lick, you did something, guess what? Chances are, nine times out of ten, uh, nine times out of ten to ten times out of ten, the person who did something twisted is gonna go and talk about it to somebody that they know that they're comfortable, comfortable to talk about that way. You feel me? That's where loose lips sink ships you get what i'm saying be careful of how you do certain things and be careful who you tell it to that's just like basically letting somebody in your game room dog that was like literally i'm gonna be real with you with that bible verse how i know it's real there's so much people who talk so much smack about me but they know they can only go with it so far because i know a lot of stuff about them that a lot of people don't know I ain't know, oh, I'm finna leak and tell everything, but I just, ah, uh, you don't know how to play chess. You feel me? These are the little things that I learned. You get what I'm saying? And I tuck it like my draw for an uno. You need to remember this. People do who do evil and wicked things, they can't sleep properly. Because the half of the things that they do, the, well, not half, majority of the things that they knew, they know is unjustified, very much ruthless, uncalled for, but they... But evil people have this mindset, by any means necessary, I'm going to get the job done, right? That's when you have to realize that, yo, you're not really the smartest, uh, you're not the brightest crayon in the box. Do you know who you robbed? Do you know who you finessed? Do you know who you did this to? That's where the terminology, dead man walking came from. You let it all make, let it all hit for you, bro. Because these are famous sayings and it's like, yo, where did this come from, dog? You're a dead man walking. You robbed from who? You stole from who? You tried to do this to who? Does anybody know about it? Do you know that if people find out, you're, you're gone? You get what I'm saying? It's one of those type of things. So you just got to really pay attention and understand this in life, bro. Not everybody is your friend. People who do evil things always have an intention to do evil they just hide it in an underlying kind of way so nobody sees it you get what i'm saying it's like a wolf in sheep clothing right one more bible verse for you psalms 28 psalms 28 verse 3 do not drag me away with the wicked 
and with those who work iniquity, who speak peace with their neighbors while evil is in their hearts. Stick a pin right there. You ever heard somebody talk all of this positive jazz like, oh, I, I, uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to change and do better and you know, one day everything gonna come out and it's like, yo, you could feel like maybe this person does wanna change. And then you find out, yo, you're a wicked piece of, you're, you're a piece of, you did this to this person, you robbed this person, why would you do that? And there was no reason to do it. Some people go about things in an ill-advised, dirty kind of way and they do it in the dark. But the minute the light hits on that situation, it's game over. This is the reason why I talk about evil and people need to pay attention, dog. Stop doing wicked stuff, bro. You don't know who you're doing stuff to. And depending on how far your wickedness and your evilness goes, your track record that you built up, if something that you done that was so dark, vile, down and dirty hits the light, I'm telling you right now that you will literally kill your whole face, your whole credibility. People don't want to have shit to do with you. You want to know a prime example of that? My mother. Dog, nobody, when I say nobody likes my mother, nobody likes my mother. Especially ever since I dropped my, um, I was blind but now I can see, and people start putting two and two together, my mom tried to get people in my family against me, dog. And guess what? Somebody in my family spoke up for me and leaked out the evil stuff that my mother did, and it caught me like, yo, you did that to somebody, dog? You, you literally, like, bro, like, I don't want to say it because it's so, it's, it's deep and it's messed up, but this is something that would damage somebody's name and take away somebody's freedom. You get what I'm saying? Those type of things. People do some evil, malicious stuff, dog. And I'm going to tell you why. It's to keep it in the dark. Remember this, bro. Anybody who does evil things, once they pass a certain age, you can't look at them like, oh, he's just a child or he's a... No. Do you understand the concept? And I'm going to be honest. Certain things the, the judicial system does is completely uncalled for but some things i look at like yo i don't know if i'm gonna throw the rock at the ju at the judge for this one dog if you hear some of the crimes some of the some people have committed you'll be like bro it's either you get help or you throw that person away dog you get what i'm saying i'm not for anybody losing their freedom but craziness evilness goes to a far extent bro you get what i'm saying there are some people who've done some wicked stuff, dog, and it's like, yo, you could really sleep at night? Example, people who have hurt innocent little kids that have done nothing to them, dog. Nothing to them, bruh. Oh, uh, you always around your mommy and I'm tired of that and hurt a child, dog. Do you know how much kids have, have lost their life from being around their mother's boyfriends and things like that? Bro, I'm going to give you an example. Evil goes very far, dog. Think of it in all kinds of ways. There are people who have left children inside of vehicles that are scorching hot like the heat that we got right now. You feel me? That's evil and twisted, even with animals, dog. You feel me? This is the thing. Animals are not human beings, but at the same time, it's like certain, certain things you got to look at it like, dog, certain things is uncalled for. You feel me? But... At the end of the day, understand this, bro. The more you do evil, you're going to get caught for it. I'm telling you that right now. That's law. There's balance in life. Let me break it down. Forward, backward, night, day, good, evil. If you've been riding the hell out of evil, like, oh my God, woo, woo, woo. You ain't get caught. None of that. Guess what? When you get caught, it's going to be the worst L you ever took. That's balance, bro. I was just watching a documentary the other day, right? I don't know if it was a documentary or an interview about a rapper who said, yo, I've been doing a lot of like, I've been doing a lot of like messed up. I did a lot of messed up stuff and I got away with it. But when I got caught, it was like, you know what? I had to sit down in my mind and say, yo, 
me getting this right here is because I got away with doing evil stuff for a long time. So this is probably my karma. This is my balance. Notice this. There are people who have put their mouth on other people to get somebody killed. There are people who have set up people and took them away from their families, bro. There are people who have harmed innocent people just because they want to continue living in their evil, dirty, friggin' lifestyle, dog. And they want to bring it to other people. Life don't work that way, dog. Life is all about balance, bro. Just remember this. If you're going to do evil to people, remember that there's never, ever, ever going to be rest for you, dog. No rest for the wicked, bro. I could talk about my, 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 my crew leader right now as an example who used to try me and all of that. He got in trouble. Everybody know that. Guess what happened? This man is literally public enemy number one. I heard now it's looking like he homeless, dog. You feel me? And I don't wish that on nobody. That's another person who getting karma for playing with me and other people who they played with. You can't do things to people to hurt them or shortstop them and feel like you're not going to get karma for it, bro. I'm going to tell you this if nobody told you this. If you're planning on doing something or you've done something to somebody innocent and they did not deserve it, you better fix that shit if you can fix it, if it's fixable, dog. Because if it's not fixable and you did it and it's lingering out there in the air and you didn't get caught, guess what? It may not be uh, this week, next month, this year, next year, the year after. When you get caught, it's going to come at a time where you're like, dog, this is this can't be happening right now, bro. That's how karma work. That's how God work, dog. No rest for the wicked, bro. Be careful of the things that you do to people, bro. There's a lot of people who get hurt innocently, dog, and didn't didn't deserve it. Yes, there are some people who are out here that are naive, but that doesn't mean, yo, take advantage of them. Help steer a person. If that person, you can't see yourself in that person, do it off of the strength of, yo, that's a female, I wouldn't want nobody to leave my little sister astray or my little niece or whatever, even though I'm not always going to be around. Some people don't even think like that. Some people think they're going to live forever. You feel me? Life don't work that way. Here today, gone tomorrow, bruh. Everybody got a time when they come in and they checking out, dog. You get what I'm saying? Do what the best it is that you can to make sure you're securing yourself, not in an evil way, but uplifting yourself others around you oh love my beard securing yourself others around you things like that you get what i'm saying to make life better and easier dog and turn away from evil dog that being said listen words can help you they can hurt you but here on my channel i use them to uplift you because everybody is a champion you get what i'm saying uh 444 the world yo don't work too hard don't stress yourself you get what i'm saying just do what you gotta do, you get what I'm saying? But don't do anything in an evil way. Love you guys. Peace.